beautiful, wonderful, amazing pet lovers. I'm Alexa, and welcome to my channel, Peaches and Pets. Today, we're going to be cleaning out my hamster's cage, Peachy's cage to be specific. Um, and basically, I'm just going to be going over all of the things that you're going to be needing to clean out the cage, all the essentials and supplies, what's safe and not safe. Hopefully, I'll answer, answer some questions along the way. First thing that you're going to be needing is some type of ball or either like a traveling cage. You're just going to be needing something to put the hamster in while you're cleaning the cage out. You can use an old critter shell cage if you have one of those. I know what you guys are thinking, but Alexa, they're not safe for hamsters. They're not safe for hamsters to live in permanently, but it is okay if you put your hamster in there from 15 to 30 minutes. As long as you have some water or food in there for them, they can be in there for 30 minutes while you're cleaning out the cage or even an hour, as long as you're not like keeping them in there permanently, it's okay. If you're putting them in a ball though, make sure that they're only in it for a maximum of 15 minutes because they do need water and food. So, you're also going to be needing some type of bedding. I use paper bedding, this is from Pet Supplies Plus. Um, normally though, I have <coughs> so fresh. Um, in this one I get at Petco because that's normally where I go to get my pet supplies stuff. This is just, both of these I believe are just a knockoff brand of Carefresh. This So Fresh is a lot cheaper because you get more for your money. Along with the bedding though, you can use wood-based substrate. Wood chips are not bad for them as long as you're not getting cedar or pine. Though cedar is not as dangerous as pine is, you want to stay away from both of them because both of them can screw up your animal's respiratory system. I know Aspen is safe for them, but I'm not sure if there's more or not. Now you're also going to be needing some food um, <clears throat> and treats if you want to. Though make sure you look at the ingredients on the back of these. On the ingredients of this treat, it actually says almonds, and almonds are not safe for hamsters to have. So I can still use these, I just have to make sure to pick out any almonds before I give it to them. Now, you guys can also look on the ingredients of your food and any treats like that. Make sure that all the foods in there are safe for them. And you may think that food for hamsters will be safe for them, but you can't always be sure about that. So, you're also going to need something to put water on whatever you're going to be using to wipe down the cage with. So I'm using paper towels and I have a spray bottle. Then you're also going to need water. I'm using bottled water. You don't want to use tap water because it could not be as safe for the hamster. So just be safe and use a bottle of water. Something that you can fill up their water bottles with or water bowls with. Um, also something to fill up that spray bottle that you have with. If your hamster has a sand bath or a litter box inside of the cage, then you're going to be needing some kind of sand with you. This is in a chinchilla dust container, but it isn't chinchilla dust. I actually bought this before knowing, and then when I found out, I threw all the chinchilla dust out of it. So that was a waste of my money. And I have play sand in here. Make sure you use play sand. Chinchilla dust is not safe for hamsters. <clears throat> and then you're going to basically just be needing some type of nesting material for your hamsters. If you're using paper-based bedding like I am, then it's not as necessary. Though my hamsters do have, as I said, paper-based bedding, and they still absolutely love this toilet paper to make nests out of. So it isn't as necessary with paper-based bedding, but I would still recommend it. If you are using wood substrate, the wood chip substrate, you should use this because it's just something soft for them to make a nest out of and you want something very comfortable and soft for them to be able to sleep on. So if you're using wood chip substrate, it's more essential. You should already have toys, but if you want to, you can switch out the toys, which is something that's very recommended. A hamster will get bored of the same old thing, so you want to switch it up on them and make it fun and make it interesting for them to go into a cage that's set up differently and when they'll start exploring and stuff like that. It's fun for them, so I recommend having toys with you. Now this is just toilet paper almost really, but I have more toys in another 
bucket over there. I'm not actually going to be changing her cage around today because Peachy is blind. She has cataracts. So if your hamster is blind, you want to keep things the same so they don't get confused. If I started rearranging her cage, she'd be tripping over a bunch of things. That's only if they're blind, though. But for the other hamsters' cages, I do change up the toys and switch everything around just to make it interesting for them. And you're going to be needing some type of garbage bag to put all of the nasty stuff in, all the old bedding in. So the first step is to get your hamster out of her cage. Now I have to be careful with Peachy because, as I said, she is blind, so I'm going to have to tap on the ground. She's sleeping right now. I will explain more about Peachy when I do their introduction videos. Got her in her ball. She's in the ball. And we're going to close it off. Okay, so now the first thing that you guys need to do, or the second thing, I guess, is take out any toys out of the cage. Now, this part, after you get out all of the toys and everything like that, this part's kind of essential. And I would definitely recommend doing this for somebody who just got a brand new hamster, especially if that hamster is a girl. Now, basically, for the next two months of you cleaning out the cage, I would very much recommend just to be safe, taking your hands, or you can use your hands with gloves on it, or you can use a wooden stick, which is what I'm going to be using today, and just really, like, feel around this bedding, and you want to make sure that you're going through all of it, and looking through all of the bedding, but basically, you're going to be looking for babies, and just making sure that there's no babies inside of this cage, and if you're positive that your hamster doesn't have babies, I would still do this just to make sure that you didn't leave anything that either they didn't bury like their food bowl or a toy that you might have forgotten about they might have buried it and then you don't want to like throw it away because you spent money on the toys once you've looked through the bedding um it's time to just dump all this stuff out okay so after you've emptied out all of the bedding out of the cage empty the water out of the water bottle and the reason why is because bacteria can grow inside of water so you want to be emptying this water bottle probably once every two days, maybe. You want to probably empty it out once every three days at the very least. Next step is going to be putting the bedding inside of the cage. Now I've mixed my two beddings that I have left together just to provide, I don't know, a variety of colors. I don't know, I felt like it. So um, now the next step is to be putting the toilet paper that you have, and basically you're going to be wanting to get a generous handful of that and spreading it throughout the cage. Now you don't have to make the nest for them, your hamsters are perfectly capable of making their own nests, and it gives them something to do, they actually enjoy it. They're just going to be wiping down all of the previous toys that they had in their cage, so like the wheel, and cleaning up this nasty mess, and the litter box and all that kind of stuff. Some hamsters will use their sand baths as sand baths. Mine use them as litter boxes. 